Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life and in this video I'll show you how I am um, going to cut my images that I find in books with the help of a Lazy Susan. But first I will show you some of the books that I use. Now this obviously says Beethoven Symphonies. Well, it says it in... Uh, well, actually, it's German, Klavier zu zwei Händen. So uh, these are symphonies that you have to play with only two hands. And I got this recently. It's quite a thick book. And it's just beautiful, beautiful, old, very, very vintage music paper. And I got this book only for one euro. So that's about 90 UK pence or about $1.10, one US dollar 10. So very, very cheap for all these beautiful music papers and I got this one as well this again is Beethoven symphonies and here this is really great I don't know if you can see that it says 1915 so this lady or gentleman C. Bron got this in 1915 so this is over a century old so I almost feel guilty cutting this one up for my crafting because that's what I wanted to do with it but it's it's a proper antique it's over a hundred years old 104 years old so I'm not sure if I can actually cut this up but since it is so old I think I'm allowed to photocopy this because um, here in the Netherlands, the rule is, at least the copyright rules, it kind of runs out if either the author has been dead for 70 years or the one that, um, if it isn't an author, but if it is a company that printed the book, um, then from the first day it was printed, it needs to run the copyright run for 70 years. So I would have to check, but I think I can probably copy these pages and then use those because that is quite special isn't it so I may not cut this one up so that was one euro as well then I got this nature book since I'm getting more into journaling and I want to sell the journals um, in my Etsy shop I've almost got one finished I am looking for nice images to use in them and I know a lot of people do like um, mushrooms <laughs> that's what they're called mushrooms so these will be great to kind of individually cut out and use in um, in journals so I want to give that a try and now from the same series it says discover the nature in Dutch this again, Discover the Nature, it's like a series of books and this one says butterflies, flinders. So I was very happy to find this one because I do find that butterfly images, at least over here, are quite hard to find. But look at all these gorgeous images, very, very vintage. I love these. So these I can cut out individually. Of course, it does say some numbers because it rever refers to their Latin names here. But I can cut around it and lose the numbers quite easily here. So that will be good. Sometimes they put the numbers like right in the middle of the picture. So then it's harder to lose the number. Uh, look at all these. I haven't even looked at these properly myself yet. So this book again was one euro. Oh, I'm so happy with these. Well, I don't think this one is 70 years old. So I can't copy this. No, 1966. So, we'd have to wait another 20 years if I want to copy those. Then I got this. But this is mainly for me as an example to craft, uh, to make things out of. Because it says lavender and old lace in Dutch. And so it's things that you can make. So I think I'll, I'll use this like um, as a book to get ideas. And I love these pages, by the way. I could cut it up. But I mainly bought this for as an inspirational book. So here it says lavender, lavender candles. Oh, here, tussie mussy, bottles, pin cushion. Oh, beautiful image. Again, it's in Dutch. 
so it gives uh, sloffer sock so this is for your um ah the shoes that you wear inside and not outside what do you call them i know the name i'm sorry um slippers of course slippers this is a slipper bag and this is lavender pomanders so it's like these the lavender like balls that you can make so it has the whole description uh, uh, the lampshades it has a whole description of how to make these this is like with napkins these are the lavender candles so I think I may just create things love this love the shabby chic style in here Victorian cards so here it gives an example to to do the tussy mussy And this is like a pin cushion, make a Victorian pin cushion, like a hat box with decoupage. So I just really like this book. It's it's kind of an older craft book, but I do really like it. It's very um, very shabby chic and vintage bottles, like with uh, make your oils, lavender water. So it has some recipes in here. This is like to put uh, um, beads on the, on the doilies, picture frame with a doily using laces. So there's lots of things in here that I can make, so I'll keep that. This one is by a lady who's very well known in Holland. She's a Dutch artist, Janneke Brinkman Salentijn. And she makes this beautiful, beautiful, that's her by the way. She makes these beautiful uh, paintings, like aquarelle paintings. And I actually, I got this book as well. These were all one euro. And um, these are gorgeous images. I got this exact same book also for a euro in, an, in a different charity shop. So I'm very happy with these because these are quite new. So I can't photocopy them. I have to cut them up, but at least I've got two copies of them. So there are all these large images that I can use, but I can also kind of cut out the individual flowers and butterflies that are kind of like here spread out on the pages. So there's lots of pretty images and butterflies that I can use and roses. They are very pretty images, so I love these. So the only thing is with these kind of books, that you have to take care what do you want to cut out do i want to use this or do i want to use this well obviously i want to use this so you always have to be careful if i want to use this with a pretty rose then i'm i'm well, it goes to here so then i'm cutting into this image which is a bit of a bummer but of course she didn't design it same with this one am i going to use this one or am i going to use this one well, this one looks like this one, so I may choose for that one and not that one and use that one if you get my drift. So you always have to be very careful and look on both sides if you want to cut out these images and be sure that you pick the nicest one. Beautiful image images. So remember that name, Janneke Brinkman, Salentijn. She really makes beautiful, beautiful paintings. All in the style we love so much. There's another artist, and I have a book of her as well. I'll show you later. That has the same style. Then I noticed that quite um, a lot of ladies like teddy bears in their journals. So I got this. This is like a teddy bear, uh, like a, a diary. Well, diary and a um, well, we called an agenda. So it's like November, you can write down, but it's like, it doesn't say the year. So you can use this for any year that you like. But of course I want to cut out the teddy bear images. Oh, look at it, so cute. And make a teddy bear journal. Oh, this is cute, it goes over two pages. So I'm not sure if I will be able to use that, but maybe if I'm very careful. So lovely teddy bear images to use. And loads of them, larger ones and all these smaller ones. 
again I have to be careful oh, you can hear my doggy in the background there she thinks she can dig in the carpet so that's what you're hearing she's trying to dig in the carpet not sure if you if the camera picks up the noise but again you have to be careful what to cut out I really love this one look at that little lady bear with a cute little crochet dress so cute then this one is with the beautiful like more like botanical images and again you have to be careful what's on the back like here I have to choose will I use this one or this one sometimes it's all right like it goes here but so that goes so because there's text on the reverse of this one so there's lots of images in black and white well it isn't really black is it it looks a bit more like sepia so some photos as well I can make kind of like envelopes out of those but it's mainly these kind of like botanical images that I got this book for and then the last book that I'll show you before I'll show you how to cut my images is this one this is a large one from Marjolein Bustown she was already famous before this lady Janneke Bringman was famous but they do have a similar style now Janneke Bringman she's mainly into flowers and butterflies but Marjolein Bustown she also does a lot of animals like mice and birds and again so that's her over there not sure if you can see that but she has like and she designs she designs like um bedding as well like duvet covers and uh both of these ladies have like their own crockery they paint on crockery their design so these are beautiful designs and these will be absolutely great to use so she does a bit, Marjolein does a bit more with animals. Also a lot of flowers, but mainly the animals here. Beautiful birds. So this will be great to use in journals. This can be on like on the journal cover. Some snails here. So it's all about nature and very pretty images some bugs lots of butterflies now these i can again cut out individually and caterpillars so loads of images for me to use and these were all one euro which is absolutely excellent beautiful images so remember those two ladies because they make beautiful painted images now these are some examples of some images that I have already cut and I will show you very soon now the way I cut them using a lazy Susan some dragonflies these are lots of uh, butterflies and actually I think this one I did by hand just to see what I found easier to do and I actually found it easier to use a lazy Susan so for those who are international and do not know what a lazy Susan is this is a lazy Susan this turns so it's like a turning table and is usually used for cake making to decorate your cake so it's a kitchen item what I do is I put my cutting mat it's this is an A4 sized cutting mat I put that on top of it and then I have some of those pretty images the larger ones to cut out and then I have my craft knife and that's the way I do it so I'm gonna sit down now so I can't see what the camera is picking up so I hope I'm not in the way but it's very easy because I just make sure that my image is on the A4 cutting mat and what I do I find this easier I just go around it like that and if I have to turn you can very easily just turn the lazy Susan because with a pair of scissors I'm always afraid that otherwise I will cut things off or cut too far that I'm not 
cutting it the right way and then I cut off leaves suddenly or so here you can really go into the the small kind of nooks and crannies like here now to cut that you have to go in there and then turn your scissors and to go back around or lose your scissors and then move in from that side now with my craft knife I can very easily go around it and twist my turning table or you know my lazy Susan and do it like that and it goes pretty quick so let's see how long this is going to take me so I'm going all the way around I love this image by the way so this is coming from kind of like a herbal book and it also had um, or like a nature's book and I found one in one charity shop there were large books and in a different charity shop it appeared I found that it appeared to be like a series it was like from the different areas like woodland area or the dunes in here all about you know nature in the Netherlands so it has all these images now here you have to be careful because I'm right-handed that I'm not doing like that because then I can still not see it so you have to kind of tip your knife and go all the way around it but you can see that I can very easily kind of I can keep my right hand my cutting hand almost steady and do all the turning and twisting with my left hand you see so I don't have to kind of do this all the time with my scissors so you do have to put a little bit of pressure on it of course hmm. maybe I should have taken a smaller image to show you this because it's a little bit more intricate than I thought it would be but as you can see it goes quite well and even if you wanted to kind of go like in the, in these spaces then obviously with a craft knife like this one you would be able to do that very easily so you do have to take care that your paper doesn't slide off the craft mat now of course it is a the lazy susan is a wooden board so you wouldn't particularly need to use the, to use the cutting mat but I just don't want to ruin my lazy Susan and get that all cut up and then having to buy a new lazy Susan so I'm just using this self-healing cutting mat at least that's what they call it like here if I go there hop it goes very easily so just for fun let me show you how easy it is to go around this rose go into this shape twist it around go back up so then I have cut out this little piece you see so it's very easy easy to then you know begin in the in the spaces where it's harder to cut where you know you would tend to cut too far or at least I would tend to cut too far if I do it with my scissors so I start there and then work my way outwards to the point of the leaves so I hope the camera is picking this up all right if not, I have to do it all again. <laughs> I'll use a smaller picture if I have to. But you see, this goes pretty fast. Well, it's a large image. Even like I can go around these little thorns quite easily without the risk that I cut them off, you see? Now I have to t turn over my knife, craft knife, and there you go, and it should come out 
Here I have to move a little bit. And here, that's the only thing you have to be careful that you do take all the um, the edges. And on this side, so that came out. Oh, it's only stuck here. So, there you go. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? So that was pretty easy to do, wasn't it? So this is the way I like to cut out my images. And of course, if you even have like very pretty images, then you can use the negative. Well, I will use this one, but say if you have like a butterfly and I did have one, like if you just have like a plain butterfly like this, this one, and you cut it out here, and instead of using scissors where you kind of cut in from the side, you use the craft knife and just go around it. Then it leaves you, of course, with the open negative of the butterfly and you can use that for stenciling. So that's another trick. If you do it this way and use a craft knife, you get a stencil. So there you go. I thought I'd show you that. And uh, I'll do some more. And I hope you enjoy this, learn something and have a go at it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.